Hello everyone, this is me Anmol from the Tech Tutes. In this video, I'll show you how to make your database using MySQL. We'll first start the VAMP. This is a very important step. In each video, you have to first start your VAMP. Then you go to a browser and type localhost. Hit enter. You can see the page opens and I'll click here PHP my admin this will open up the database these are the default databases of the MySQL now we are going to create a new database for our site we'll name it same as the name of the site temp underscore site and hit create this will create our new database and now we have to define the new <coughs> table we have to create in this database the name would be uh, I mean student okay we'll go to type this student and the number of fields three and then we'll hit go this will create our new by default you can see you can only see the two fields for the third field you have to click here go this will show your third field as well in the first field we're going to type the name student ID then the length 3 index will use it as a primary key and AI will check this option this means auto increment we don't have to provide the value each and every time now the second field we will name as first name and the third field as the last name we'll make it type where care second one also where care the length would be 20 that one also 20 then the rest will leave at it as it is then hit save this will create our table you can see your equivalent mysql query also you type here you can see your th three fields student id first name and last name you can go to the browse you can see your database and here is your table now we want to insert the values inside this table for this go to this fourth option which is insert when you click it it will provide you the screen which shows you which will <coughs> help you entering the values we're not giving the value of the student id because it is auto incremented and it will be given by the you <coughs> by the mysql engine only and as we hit this you can see what happens we go to the student and here we can see one in my name first name last name as equally we can change it now we want to make a few multiple entries we can do this we remember no student ID will be provided by the mysql as the ai option was on means auto increment option was on now in the second case uncheck this ignore here also will <coughs> enter some entries excluding that one student id here we'll hit go we can see the multiple rows are now entered when you when we browse this table you can see your three fields by this approach you can make as many database as you want and the table inside them 